today we will read a uh, pigeon hole principle, which is an elementary, but very important combinatorial principle we can use uh, to solve a variety of problems and the problems uh, using uh, arrangement. So, the study of arrangement is of object is an important part of discrete mathematics. So, we write pigeon hole principle. The study of arrangements of objects uh, is an important part of discrete mathematics. We can phrase many uh, arrangement uh, or many counting problems in terms of arrangement um, for ordered or unordered arrangements and there we can use this pigeon hole principle uh, to solve the problems. So, this is very elementary, but very important uh, counting uh, techniques or the uh, principle that we use for uh, counting or in combinatorial problems. So, I can uh, write the introduction that we can we can phrase. many counting problems in terms of ordered or unordered arrangements. Pigeon hole principle is an elementary can tell this is a combinatorial tool. That can be used to solve a variety of counting problems associated with arrangements. So, very simple way uh, if I uh, 
tell this principle that the term is pigeon hole. So, as if a, a lot of pigeons fly into not too many pigeon holes, then each pigeon hole must contain more two or more than two pigeons. So, very simple form I can tell this term that from where this pigeon hole terms are coming. So, simple way if I use this term that the, the principle about pigeon hole in very simple word if I tell I can tell that um, if a lot of pigeons fly into not too many pigeon holes. then at least one pigeon hole will be occupied by two or more pigeons. And this simple rule or principle we can apply and we can solve a interesting problems or we can conclude uh, surprising uh, way that uh, conclusions are sometimes very, very surprising though simple. So, first we uh, in a simple form or uh, more uh, mathematically we, we try to state the um, pigeon hole principle. simple form we tell you can write the statement as a theorem so if n plus 1 objects are put into n boxes then at least one box contains two 
or more of the objects. So, the earlier statement I made there here these n objects are similar to the pigeons and the box are the pigeon holes. So, how we can prove? So, statement is n plus 1 objects are put into n boxes then at least one box contains two or more of the objects. So, if we prove the proof is very simple. So, if each of the n box contains at most one of the objects. then the total number of objects is at most 10 because there are uh, n boxes we have considered. Now, since we start with n plus 1 objects, so we have still one more object to put in some box. So, clearly the box where we put this n plus one eighth object or the last object or the last one that contains two objects. and it is proved. So, here we have we have considered that each of the n boxes if each of the n boxes contains at most one of the objects. Otherwise that if we do not consider this that at each box contains at least one then automatically that one of the n box one of the n boxes must contain two or more than two objects. Now, 
here something we uh, we must see that this pigeon hole principle it does not guarantee in finding the one of the uh, box which contains two or more than one objects or it does not guarantee to identify the box or how the boxes are arranged like that. It only states that the arrangements are such that one of the boxes at least one of the boxes contains two or more than two objects. Uh, but with using these simple statements we can solve a number of uh, problems of different uh, classes of problems. Now, the um, problems uh, or, or the problems we have stated or the principle uh, um, we, we told sometimes we call pigeon hole, sometimes it is also popular as shoe box problem that what the objects as I already mentioned the objects are pigeons and the boxes are pigeon holes. Now, this problem can be of say um, coloring problem ok. Say, so, instead of so here actually we can write that uh, these objects I can tell these objects are same as that of pigeons. and boxes are similar to pigeon holes. Now, instead of putting objects into boxes I can consider as a uh, coloring problem, then I can consider this as a coloring problem say coloring of brawls or coloring of objects then I can think that coloring problem that um, we have to consider consider color the coloring of n balls Or better coloring of objects with n colors, n number of colors. Then we can tell that the pigeon hole principle asserts that if n plus 1 objects are colored with n colors then at least two objects have the same color. So, here the pigeons and the pigeon holes are different as if the pigeon holes are the colors and the 
pigeons are the objects. So, when we try to solve the problem using the pigeon hole principle that first we have to identify that which are the or which objects we are uh, considering as the pigeons and which objects are considered as the pigeon holes. Since our pigeon hole principle tells about the relation between the pigeon and the pigeon holes. So, we have to identify this thing. Now, as I mentioned that a number of uh, problems or a variety of problems that can be solved using pigeon hole. So, uh, in this lecture we try to um, classify the problems that we use that one class of problems that can be used by or that can be solved by using pigeon hole. First we consider uh, uh, a very simple problem that normally we uh, solve using pigeon hole and these classes of problems we are uh, telling as if these are some application or different application classes. So, this is one um, application one we are taking. Say we are uh, giving some some one example we are taking say example 1 say among 13 people there are two who have the birthdays in the same month. So, first we identify who are the pigeons and the who are the pigeon holes as if here we have a, in a year we have 12 months. So, here as if the months are the pigeon holes. And the people are the pigeons. So, I have I have 13 people. So, we have 13 people that means as if 13 pigeons and that we have to put into 13, 12 months and we have 12 months that is 12 pigeon holes. So, 13 pigeons we have to put 12 pigeon holes or I can write this is similar to that 13 pigeons fly to fly into 12 pigeon holes we 
which is same as that of or 13 people will be assigned to 12 months according to their birth day. So, according to pigeon hole principle that one month must contain two people. So, I can write according to if we apply pigeon hole principle. So, according to pigeon hole principle. at least one month because one pigeon hole contains two people. So, one month is associated with two people who have the is associated with two people who have their or different way I write at least yes one month But they are in the same month. Now, the similar problem I can take with under application 1, I can take another example. Say among the set of eight students at least born in the same day of the week. Similarly, here the pigeons are the students and the pigeon holes are the so eight students. I can think that eight pigeons 
and assign to 7 days in the week. So, 7 days which is 7 pgn holes. And so, according to pgn hole principle, at least two students because if I consider at most one student in one day they are born in one day of the week then the eighth one must be in one of the days where already we have considered that some other student has was born. So, two students were born in the same day. This is another similar but slightly different. So, I am writing as a ap application to say the problem is there are n married couples. How many of the twin people must be selected in order to guarantee that one has selected a married couple. So, we can directly apply pgn hole principle. So, apply pgn hole principle and as if we consider uh, n people or n pgn holes or boxes better I write n pgn holes consider n pgn holes and one corresponding to one people or to each of the n couples to one couple. Now, if we select n plus 1 people and put each of them 
in one hole. Then some pigeon hole contains two two people That is, if we consider a PGN as a couple, a married couple. then we select in two ways either we take in husbands or in wives and the and clearly the n plus one nth people will form the form a couple, will form a married couple. So, this problem directly gives, this is a counting that because my question was how many, the question was that how many of the twin people must be selected and the answer is that n plus 1. If we select n plus 1 people, then we can get a married couple. So, this is one, uh, we have seen that application 1 and 2, that is two classes of problem, very simple um, type of problem that we can uh, um, solve using PGN hole principle. There are other principles uh, related to the PGN hole um, that are similar to that the statements that we have uh, made and that we can write as a that in a different form that we can tell. Uh, one is I can write that if n objects are put into n boxes. and no box is empty. Then each box contains at least one object. Yes, exactly. one object. 
same thing same statement I can write that if n objects are put into n boxes and no box contains more than more than one object. Then each box has an object in it. So, normally these are the three statements or the or three statements that are used for the PGN hole in simple form. These are the PGN hole in simple form that we use to solve the uh, some arrangement problems or the counting problems. So, here the main principle is that uh, we have to we must identify given a problem we must identify the pigeons the objects which are same as that of pigeons and their number and their numbers this is one and the pigeon holes pigeon holes and their number and then some analogy between the pigeon and the objects and the pigeon holes and the objects and then apply PGN on principles and then we apply apply PGN on principle. In any one of the form one we have given as a theorem one and these are two other different ways we can state the pigeon hole principle. So, here this lecture very simple problems one class of simple problems as an application 1 and application 2 that we have uh, read that how to solve using pigeon hole in the next lecture we will see some uh, mathematical or numerical problems how we can solve using pigeon hole principle.